in the is G radio. Hello guys and welcome. This is G Radio number one TV show and we were coming live at GBS TV and I'm your host Isaac Tabitha. I'm the co-host Evan Tinyari and as usual we have our DJ DJ Deco. You can also send your views on my Instagram page and Tinyari underscore Eva. And also you can get me on our Facebook page as Isaac Tabitha. Thank you so much guys. Keep it here. This is G Radio number one TV show where we're coming live at GBS TV. And this is where we give you the dopest, the coolest show in East and Central Africa. I'm your favorite host, Isaac Tabitha. I'm Evan Tinyari. You're so welcome. I hope your week has been okay. Sisiapa tuko tu sawa. It is amazing to be here again and we have amazing people on set DJ Nyaji wako poa acha kibenya analenga nga story anangoja kwanza hadi mumuite eh si ana humble wewe si wale watu wako kitu kombe leo unarudishwa nyuma size ana humble size acha tutoke hapa kwa studio kile ni tako na chini pia magest wetu karibuni mnakaa poa asante sana so today we're talking about mental illness yeah and we have people who can advise you on that what to advise psc in ajua is uko in darkness maybe maybe a dj dj ya lazima tukue machampe sinajua ndiyo <laughs> combination yes rembe wote amebeba ataki mcheza karibu asante mhm um and i'm pop pop yeah p like to spell ye wale wale wa abu rudia tena pop p u r p like p u r p ndio jina yako no no that's that's the stage name that's the stage name as an artist unajua kuna watu msindo wa unajua kwa alikavya akasema akuite pop na nime watu wengi wameza kunita pop Nona sasa na sasa una kisha relative unaelewa sasa lazima ijini kwa uzito bien dj sijui ni kuambia usalimie watu wa madini muonaje ugote watu hebu kwanza ambie watu ulikuanga wapi mimi kupiga ngo vita vita yako mimi sitaki sitaki hata kidogo nilipata taxi kiasi tulichotoa na bike from behind nini aksini accident aki generation ya sikuzi na uvi hapana acha amalizie kuna mtu huko nyumbani yaelewi a si ati hivyo sasa lazima ukisema hiyo leo utakaje ni lugha mtani unaelewa mta baadaye eh utasema hivyo na watu wa moshadha so i think it's really tricky de okay tuli tuli get accident on 2nd of april but Mm-hmm. by the grace of, of god grace of god oh, hallelujah go oh, high ni ko poa ni ko fresh so nataka leo ni mash it up yeah watu walikuwa wamekuhata ati oh dj deco dj deco dj deco mpaka na chini kwa nini mimi ndio dj deco ama kwa nini wewe unikanae hadi unafikia ukupotea unaweka utatafutwa najua hata nikiondoka wanasema it's okay ni pale unasikia anga mtu alitoka unasikia Finally. Finally. Acha hata tupumzike tumekuwa tuki struggle sana. Kopoa lakini. Kopoa tulikuwa tumekumiss na umefanya poa ku come na wale walikuwa nakulizia DJ Deco ndio huyo. So Deco leo unaamua kuchezea ngoma gani? Leo leo nataka kuwa pea bit of old school kiasi. Mhm. Maana ke papa na perform ngoma zake kadha na track kadha umsanii hapa. Mhm. So true, true. Yeah, lazima hip hop then we'll get back to urban hype. Yeah. Sawa sawa. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, umesikia. Yeah. So guys back at home, uh, today we are talking about mental illness and also sex education. Watu wengi najua pale nyumbani wanashindwa maneno gani? Kwanza hapo kwa sex education. Mzazi asikia kio jikoni. Si ndio, si sisi tunafanya kazi yenye mapiro wafanyi. Kuna wazazi wengine wafanyi wa kazi. Mm-hmm. So chatu wasaidie watu kama <laughs> so for those who are joining us, those who would like to join us in our conversation, remember on our Facebook pages, GBS TV Kenya. You can also send your SMS on our SMS line at 2144. And also you can get me on my Facebook pages, Isaac Tabitha. You can send your views on my Instagram page at tinyari underscore eva. And also we have our YouTube channel. Remember, please, kumbukeni kusubscribe ukitaka kuwachizi video more and more because iko hapo mingi mingi tena sana. Today we are talking about mental illness and also sex education. Najua ni ngumu kwa wazazi pale nyumbani kuweza kuzungumza na watoto wao na pia kuongea maneno mengine wajua. Yeah, ni topic kwa to avoid sana sana mm-hmm. sana and it's not a good thing actually juu mtu yeye akiwa mdogo anafaa kuwa enlightened na vitu mob mm-hmm. si ndio ndio akikuwa mkubwa asianze kushangaa hizi vitu ni nini si jiambiwa. Yeah. Eh unajua curiosity huwa Paka. Yeah. So so to avoid that mse kujipata unapata mtu yanajiingiza kwa mashida zingine out of curiosity you know at yet blame my mother didn't tell me about this. Ulo no lizo. Mami nilitoka wapi ati ulianguka na ndege. Tuka kuokoti. Ilikununua kwa super supermarket. Vituka hizo bana. Sa hizi. Sa hizi tuko 21st century. Sindio. Mtu ya nafaa kujua vyo. Tu ndo. Ama ama na danganyo imili. Udanganyo. What we're trying to push is uh, sex education and mental health mm-hmm. should be in schools mm-hmm. uh, from the younger age kids should know about mental health and by the time they're like i think 13 mm-hmm. at this generation they should know about sex you know mm-hmm. because when you ask men about uh consent yeah when did you know about consent <laughs> or who told you about consent <laughs> he's mm-hmm. about to <laughs> <laughs> You know, so many people, <laughs> so many men don't know anything about consent mm-hmm. until they start dating. Mm-hmm. Also to us women, we don't know anything about sex or how to avoid or to say no mm-hmm. when you're maybe high or yeah. you're not in your sense. Mm-hmm. You don't know how to say no. Mm-hmm. And to men, they also don't, there's a different, so many ways to say no, mm-hmm. which it's easy for them to know, but they don't know because... Mm-hmm. You get. Mm-hmm. So I think we should push that so that men should know about consent at a younger age mm-hmm. so that they can avoid uh, rape and all, all these uh, allegations. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mr. So Park. that's what we're pushing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about you? Um a spotlight sasa mimi. Ushe kwa ushe bonga na mzazi wako kuhusu yani sex kitu kama hiyo. Mbona unajua mzazi? The first time ulisikia story ulikuwa classic tukisoma reproductive system. I know kwanza mimi like the way I came to learn through sex was kuna like I was in class 7. Mhm. And at that time they were like uli skip classics. No, 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 like at class seven, there's a specific like incident that happened. Come like, come come oh. Yeah, so <laughs> as in, at f- at then I, ju- I just used to hear the name sex, sex then. Sometime, mm-hmm. um, there for high schoolers that time I was in class seven. Mm-hmm. There's a high schooler who came to me and he was like, um, do you know like what sex is in nini? I was like, yeah, I, I know what sex is in nini. Like, have you done sex in nini? I was like, okay, at that time I wasn't clearly sure. So I said, ah, yeah, nini. So at that time I was freaky. He's like, I'm going to tell your mom, nini. I'm like, what, what's this thing? What's this thing that, that I've said I've done that I don't know? So I was like, ah. So yeah, from then, like, I got to know, like, all oh, sex is this. Because I talked to my mom. She was like, ah, nah. Mm-hmm. It's just all about, like, how... You talked to your mom? Yeah. About it? Yeah. Because I had to, because I was like, eh, this guy is coming to tell my mom. So I better tell her first before she can. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, so I went and talked to her. She, sh- she, she like, told me and um, um, sat me down. Mm-hmm. And then she told me, like, oh, it's not something big. It's just, like... Um, a stage that when you're in love with someone or like let's say you're in a relationship with someone, mm-hmm. you get into like, you make it more physically lindy. But she was telling me the most important thing during such is being safe. Mm-hmm. But mostly my dad wasn't around because he died when I was young. So mostly like, I don't think my mom, like she really had that 
<laughs> capability try and talk to a boy about like yeah, this side it can be hard yeah mimi kuna kitu umenishangaza yani papa ulipata hiyo courage kuendea mzazi wako kumwambia wewe alisema heri mimi nimwambie kuliko ni chomo na majimu yeah like i think i don't think it's a big deal like for me i have that conversation with my younger brother who is uh, about 16 now mm-hmm. yeah cuz uh, he's already dating and you know he's already interested with women so why not talk about mm-hmm. it you know don't i think it's better when they know than later they'll be like i wish i knew this mm-hmm. cuz yeah. i'm so sure everybody here it's like i wish i knew this at this young age yeah, yeah. you know mm-hmm. and also we had uh, an adopted brother who died last year but one we adopted him when he was uh, hiv positive mm-hmm. so the reason why he died is because at school he was bullied you know and he didn't know how to handle the situation mm-hmm. where he was born with it you know and he has this girlfriend he doesn't know how to tell the girlfriend about it mm-hmm. and he's only 16 years old so he started like not going to school so many things happened mm-hmm. and he just mm-hmm. yeah wow let me i have you ever talked to your parent about the sex thing well mine was i think i was uh, 15 mm-hmm. and because i had to talk about it because uh, someone from my family tried to molest me it was a I would really would want to go there but yeah <laughs> then I didn't say anything I just mm-hmm. ran away and then I wrote a letter to my stepmom mm-hmm. and then she came and found me and then we had like to go to the police station and mm-hmm. all, all that kind of thing mm-hmm. that's when it has started like being open about it so me and my stepmom yes we talk about sex mm-hmm. and then uh when I went to find when I went to school I studied about uh, community development mental health and those kind of situation mm-hmm. also had to talk about her cuz she's a bit older mm-hmm. and most older people they have mental situation because of the situation they grew up is different mm-hmm. than ours mm-hmm. so i believe also older women mm-hmm. they are also more affected with depression than like it's actually older and the younger mm-hmm. yeah yeah who are like more affected with depression mm-hmm. so to educate my mom about it so that when she's stressed or maybe she feel like she's having a hard time mm-hmm. she can come to someone who understand more mm-hmm. yeah dj deko wish aenda kukuta mzazi wako kumwambia una i think it's actually good because yo yeah, it's it's actually f- you feel free because mm-hmm. when something happens you know when i call my mom mm-hmm. she's going to help me in this kind of situation mm-hmm. because at that time when something happens you don't know who to call you don't know where to call your friends mm-hmm. you don't know and you don't know what to do with the first moment that thing happened mm-hmm. you don't know first of all calling your parent and start telling this happened you yeah know, i was African actually parents, shocked my mom understood okay, because African not so many yeah, yeah not so many mothers uh, will exactly you've mm-hmm. done this mm-hmm. yeah. and because in my family that was uh, like a head of the family mm-hmm. my mom had to like and where i got really shocked is she's my stepmom and she just mm-hmm. understood you know mm-hmm. and that was a big step for me mm-hmm. and i was like from today as in i need to educate more people about the situation because normally unapata hata wama step mother ndo wana wana uza watu hii exactly mm-hmm. unapata ana kutafutia you you get money for them through that ana kuleta wazai wa bigi bigi aki una unashindwa huu mtu hata ujai muona mr pub shuleni walikwanga wanafunza about they they have that the sex education part in high school yeah well primary high school kindergarten primary to just the i think the definitions that this is a class 8 or class 7 to mm-hmm. you now introduce you any nini mm-hmm. for high school it wasn't a topic that was let's say constantly mm-hmm. taught but let's say let's say in a year twice mm-hmm. they would bring like someone to talk and mm-hmm. but mostly you'd find that the age group that we're in many people have already gone beyond now that mm-hmm. advice you know because mm-hmm. that's something that you were gotten like before now they come to high school mm-hmm. like am i saying because now for them for the school like they would tell us in high school nini but people would go home you'd go home and hear you they normally they, they don't tell you deeper they, yeah. you know the, the way they talk about sex hey, is like highlight they yeah. hide they just highlight your sex is about, it's about you with, with someone mm, yeah <laughs> they don't just highlight or una somatuzi stories are reproduction and you just know that yeah mm. i know everything about sex yeah this is how it goes and that's it <laughs> yeah kwa sababu there's a there's a difference you know um, nowadays uh, sex 
people see it everywhere. It's everywhere on TVs. On I don't know why people are ashamed to talk about these things because at the end of the day, people have phones, people have internet. Yeah. You know, it's better they know so that th when they go and find out about themselves, they already know how to protect themselves. Mm -hmm. And they won't. Because sex is a no? big term. Sex is a it involves it so many that things. Only that name, anyway, it's very yes, conosito. Exactly. Mm. So uh, actually, Emma, I I want to ask you: Do you think is is school uh, able to teach? more about sex, um, should they go outside and also look for the answer by themselves? What do you think? I think they should learn from school, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, they should know how to have sex. They mm -hmm. should know, like, let's say for younger people, the ones who don't know anything about sex, they mm -hmm. should know, like, if somebody touches me here, it's mm -hmm. wrong. Mm -hmm. I should report this. Mm -hmm. If somebody touches me here, it's wrong. I should report this. Mm -hmm. Because if you find the naive ones, mm -hmm. and then, you know, mm -hmm. you get it they don't them. know whether it's wrong or it's right. And then some go to the extent of, like, you know, telling them, if you tell someone, I'm going to kill you, whatever. Uh, then it things. continues for, like, five years, ten years. By the time... Maybe it's in your house. Let's mm -hmm. say maybe it's your uncle or your cousin yeah. or your dad. Mm -hmm. So because you're so scared, mm -hmm. you'll still remain in that position. Kwa sababu, he still provides. Mm -hmm. He's still the one like paying everything. So you, you'll be stuck. So imagine when you're out of that situation, mm -hmm. how is your mind going to be? Wow. Mr. Pop, <laughs> I have one question. You know, we men, men do say this, she didn't make me son of Kenya to go to villages. We just hear that a father a rape What do you think, according to you, what do you think it's a major problem that makes men also to rape young young kids? Um mostly like for men, some of them let's say actually you miss my village. Mm. Let's say they are mostly drugs, like mm. kulewa. So no dusha go to patam to me lewa me kunya swini. Then they walk by the time let's say they are going to the house mm -hmm. and then the, the way they look at their kid is different. And at that time mm -hmm. a kill Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. after he does that, he mm -hmm. ends up like, ah, yeah, this happened. Mm -hmm. And you know, once he goes back to drinking, it's so easy for him to end up doing that again. Mm -hmm. you know. oh, let so. me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. What about the ones who absolutely know, like, are sober? Yeah, the, mm -hmm. actually, sober. that's what I wanted to okay, ask. Yeah, those who are sober. <laughs> my point, <laughs> my point, my point, I think these people have a deeper, I think, I think maybe... In their younger situation, maybe something happened to them, mm -hmm. and it Traumatized. kept growing. It kept growing until they became that. Mm -hmm. Because it, what, in another country, you'll find uh, someone if uh, is a sodomite mm -hmm. or whatever. They they are given that name, and then they won't go to the same place they used to stay, mm -hmm. or they won't uh, be in the same community mm -hmm. they used to live in because they are kids, mm -hmm. they are people. In the, but you find in Kenya something like that happens in Tralipa, Bonda, Natoka. You get, mm -hmm. and then. You people are continue to having kids. You you might find your boyfriend maybe is a sodomite. You don't know. Mm -hmm. You end up falling in love with this person, get married, and that's they end up you know doing your own kids because they didn't heal from the situation. Mm -hmm. It's like R. Kelly situation. Everybody knew R. Kelly was molested when he was young, sure. and then when he came out, he still went on working, working, and doing the same thing that he was done through these young women. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's about speaking up. People don't actually know the power of speaking up. And that's what I'm saying. If you teach these kids at a younger age, like mm -hmm. if someone touches you here, it's wrong. If someone touches you here, it's wrong. Mm -hmm. They can report because they know it's wrong. But if mm -hmm. they don't know, how are you going to report when you don't know if it's wrong or if it's right? Sure, and then sure. same to men. Mm -hmm. If they don't know anything about consent, because even you'll find someone older and you tell them, Yes, at this time, and then let you like maybe he doesn't know. Maybe it's a 50 50, it's not mm -hmm. like a hundred percent. Yes, mm -hmm. not so many people know that, wow. so they need to be educated, both men and women at a younger age. Eh. So, <laughs> thank you so much. So, guys, we're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we are going to continue more with this topic. Man. Hello viewers, welcome to Women's Views. What you see is what you get. Very exciting and fun. We grew up in a certain community and we were told this is how women are. <laughs> Everybody was coming with what they can get. <laughs> this is not a joke, you signed up for life. Very interesting. A woman is this. You want somebody else to do something for you that you can do for yourself. You know what, you're doing a great job, you keep doing it. You are going to school to become a musician, <laughs> <laughs> <Like>, seriously. <laughs> okay, hit. Ah.
The show airs every weekday from 11 a.m. to noon and is repeated every evening from 7 to 8 p.m. I look forward to seeing you there. Kama ya kwanza runing ya GBS TV inakuletea echo mziki. Ni show itakayokuwa inatambulisha vipaji vya DJ wasanii wenye uwezo mkubwa na madansa za unyakunyangua. Ivana Nam at Trubo Nyakoko pamoja na mkali wao DJ Vokes. Siku ya Juma ile ya saa 12 hadi saa 1 jioni. Na Juma Mosi ile ya saa 9 hadi saa 10 ya mchana. Na Juma pili ile ya saa 9 kwenye echo mziki live audience. Echo mziki hapa mziki tu. bamba kwanza wewe ndio unyo unafaa kutuambia kitu hebu kwanza nilikuwa nataka kuliza deck deck ushe na kuongea na mzazi ukamwambia hizo story ah mimi sijai sijai ndio maana anachorea ndio maana anachorea na kajagia tuambie ukweli sasa okay mimi sijai kwa that open with my parents as in about such sensitive stuff but kuna vitu tu ongea gani kama gani hivi chill uko na bro ama ama sister mdogo yani kona ka bro kadogo na sisi ushiuliza mbona matakuwa amefura tumbo eh tuko kwanza alikuwa ngala tuchota ati eh tumeenda ku buy mtoto sije nini supermarket unaona eh unasikia watoto ubaiwa unashindwa eh nilibaiwa wapi unataka kurudi kwa supermarket baadaye ndo unajuanga eh kumbe ilikuwa ni size yake tu. Si size yake. Kupi mwa size yako. Si size yake. Ushaibonga na bro wako mdogo kuhusu stuff kama hizo. No, he's too young but akifika hiyo right age lazima ntamenta hapo. At maybe kiruzi yake isha. How young? So, how young? How young? How, how, okay. how young is he? Like he's seven right now. Oh yeah. So no no wezi professor amesema it's okay. Wezi mpeleka huko Kenya. Utamkimbiza huko alafu mpate pia na yote na itakuwa eh. Wendo bongenea alafu mpate pia kwa nyumba mara wanaosha viombo. Maanisha. Anyway, this pop. Yeah. Umesema tuwe tuseme for example which which uh, let me ask you which is the best uh, class yenye mtu anafaa kufunzo about sex education the best classes in oh like mm -hmm. is it stage? high school ama stage gani poa ai uh, as early as like when class 8 or class 7 like that by that time someone should already kuna watu wako like, class 7 na 8 na ni wakubwa yeah. like squeeze watu ubali hata akiwa 10 years old mhm kwa dioma na kubaleni tumetebu sema sasa mimi kubaleni kwa ta periods ushaka <laughs> Aujaka like kwenye kwenye mimi nakaa from age of like let's say 12 mm -hmm. kuna mtu ana mtoto 12 yes mm -hmm. like kuna watu nishaona wazi wake wadogo size wako na watu wengi wewe ni mtoto na uko na mtoto kuna mtoto ana mtoto mtoto amempatia mtoto mimba na mtoto ameza so watoto ni wazazi mtoto amepatia mtoto mimba na watoto wote wawili ni wazazi na sasa kama Unaweza pata kama mvulana yuko kama 15, mshana yuko kama 13 ama you know the father of two. Hizo ni zile za kupangiwa zile za ring. Si zile za kupangiwa. Ni wenyewe tu wamepatana. Wenyewe wenyewe wenyewe. Wenyewe tu wamepatana. Mhm. Unaona? So mimi mimi naona each generation of children will grow as in in a very big pace. So I won't say class kwa sababu pia kuna watu wengine uchelewa shule. Mhm. So I think from age of 12 mm. not necessarily to talk about everything from mm. age of like from age of like mtu ananza ku understand mm -hmm. unaanza kuwafundisha about consent for men mm -hmm. kwa sababu pia wanaume wengine wanaanza ukware wakiwa wadogo 
kwa, kwa wanaume ukware yes ukware is like touchy touchy mm-hmm. <laughs> kwa wale ambao wale wanyu wanapenda wasichana wakiwa wadogo yani was, uh-huh. na wale pia uh, is the same thing wasichana wakware ni wale wanapenda wavulana at a very young age mm-hmm. as in inaanza akiwa akianza akiwa mdogo mm-hmm. so first you don't necessarily to have start teaching about sex mm-hmm. you can start teaching about consent for men mm-hmm. and then for women ukishikwa mahali fulani unasema stop stop ama unajua ukishikwa hapa ni vibaya ukishikwa hapa ni vibaya kwa sababu you're not only protecting her from outside mm-hmm. also there might be someone from inside and you don't know mm-hmm. you get so not necessarily sex at that age of like 12 or, or 10 mm-hmm. let's say unamfundisha kuanzia 10 to like 11 story ya ukishikwa hapa ni vibaya hapa ni vibaya the more you you grow the more she grows or he grows mm-hmm. now you, you you go to sex mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that is like 14 to 15 kwa sababu you can just yeah, teach her everything at once yeah, <laughs> or give everything at once yeah. Yeah. ndio yeah unaanza tu kidogo curiosity sasa ndo anataka kujua vizuri sasa kujaribu sasa anataka kuelewa isex na they will always have curiosity no matter what it's life mm-hmm. curiosity lazima itakuwa hapo so, so afadhali ajue so akiona hiyo curiosity ndo akipatikana katika hiyo situation najua this is wrong and this is right ngoja So if kuna hiyo curiosity then unafauna withhold information. Afu na jopia one thing. Ata yanga age kwa one sababu ukishawa uki, uki enlighten they want to try that definitely. So, 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 one thing uh-huh. reason reason I'm saying uh-huh. talk to them yeah. Uh-huh. First thing you need to know like the moment you start talking to, me, to them about the normal things they see on TV because mm-hmm. at the end of the day utamkataza kuna TV na bado watu watakisiana watashikana mm-hmm. you get so the moment you start teaching they'll trust you more to come to you if something happens mm-hmm. you're also trying to 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 tell this child that it's okay if this happens come and tell me like if this this is wrong this is right mm-hmm. they know like if my mom have told me this is wrong this is right mm-hmm. I can go to my mom and tell her this has happened to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But kama mama kwa jai kukuambia kuhusu this is wrong this is right. How can yeah, you go to, yeah. to that person mm-hmm. and feel confident mm-hmm. that this person will help me at this point? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? Yeah. So teaching them only will not uh, teach them something but will also teach them trust in you. Like they'll they'll start believing that you know if something happened I can go to go my to mom mama. or I can go to my dad. Mm-hmm. Jupia unapata wasenyo wanasoma nao shule the, the student around wana wanajua vitu the another thing i'm saying people should learn at a younger age kuna watu wanazaliwa na hiv positive you know and that the ones yeah. already wamezaliwa na hiv positive you should ask yourself when these kids are going to school yeah what happens mm-hmm. and it's a mixed school what happens exactly and when they go there also i'm not sure if all of them carry medication or they'll have to take medication in school because they'll be scared like people would, yeah, you, you get uh, so the, the, they must be hiding they must be in hiding and they can't they can, you can just come and tell you i'm affected and their kids mm-hmm. <laughs> themselves you know so and then be i'm affected ataanza kukusongea and they have that shame my issue is they are away from this because if i tell them once I've yeah but I'm not talking yeah. I'm, I, I'm, I'm talking in a sense where if someone knows mm-hmm. that this happens yeah and there is a HIV and I can protect myself in this way I can renew in this way so they know if I have sex mm-hmm. I'm either going to get two things or both mm-hmm. I'm either going to get HIV and pregnancy mm-hmm. or I'm going to get and HIV and pregnancy and you, there's so many things that happen yeah you get mm-hmm. so if you don't tell them what happens they have to go and join that's why you yeah. see that's why you see this generation is scared more of pregnancy than hiv True. or it's scared True. more of pregnancy than other, other types of diseases because they, they are not educated enough kuna watu bado wako na ile especially watu uko mashinani sijui watasomewa aje kwanza watu huko shago i think ukikuja nairobi they know watoto wanajua more of this thing more than those who are Okay the what they I know think. listen what mm-hmm. they know is from the internet and in, in the TV and the shows you know and what what is what being portrayed from the internet mm-hmm. is not what everybody is they know about sex mm-hmm. <laughs> let's be clear yeah because it's just there on youtube because in the internet there's so many things and uku atuna ile 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 like you can block some other internet your kids can only see yeah, certain so things we're not yeah, yeah, there yet yeah, so uku yeah. Like myself I started watching point at a very younger age. Yeah. 
it was easy to find it. That's what I'm saying. It, this, you know, it's easy to find everything. Everything yeah. is parade mm -hmm. everywhere, mm -hmm. you know? So if you're saying you're protecting them, yeah. when you, they go outside, <laughs> what happens? Because even this Because everything is just there. Sure. Like, like you know. know how to use phones. Mm -hmm. Like kids these days are not like we have an iPad. Like my seven year old sister, like e iPad. Mm -hmm. to me have a and I could mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. really scary because the content that's online that she can access. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's it's broad. Very dangerous also. Yeah, and yeah. You know, she's young, so mm -hmm. you, you, you always worry like what's gonna happen? When will she ha have to get that mm -hmm. to jump that bridge of mm -hmm. that? Yeah, because my mom, okay, even my mom, she sometimes, there's a day she sent me an article mm -hmm. Gazette about um, how HIV has spread in Nini. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was like, oh, we're gonna make to make one and I shook over it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but then, like, I, I went and then she was like, no, it's an article I saw, and also, like, you need to share out because people need to know, like, this thing is really just not for fake Nini, you know? Mm -hmm. So that at least, that awareness. Mm -hmm. It really helps a lot. Mm -hmm. I was looking, I was <laughs> even <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 but as happened to Wakili, I'm doing a piganga. But Nadisa, is also wrong. You are weird. Exactly. You yeah, yeah, share a lot with her. Ungona, eh, at a minute, a quantum to me up to Zingin and a pata. Kama was as you are Maju, Unapatanga, Mtutu and Enda and Biama March openly. This boy did this. Ude malifanya hivi hivi na hivi. Lakini yeah. fika huku kwanza kitu wa kwanza rapiganga kwa kichwa. Mzazi wangu atariakta aje. Ako hapo jikoni ni memuambia. Iyo ni dhamo siku hapo. Iyo ni kikombe ile ni sufuria. One of them. Kuda kitu boje tanitekia kwa uso. Unona. I think in Africa. Uh, let's say most likely in Kenya. Let me talk about in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Many people they are so much afraid. Ya kuenda kuongea. Na wazazi wao. Yeah. I don't know. But I, feel but like I think it should be the other way around, as in mothers and fathers should talk to us about sex before we go and learn somewhere else. Mm -hmm. mm. Because yeah. if you go and learn somewhere else, then definitely they're, gonna, they're not going to tell you the whole situation about sex. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Yes, I know our upbringing is like, like different, mm -hmm. but... I think Pia Wazazi when you have your education, like teach your kids about this t as in yeah. sex situation. Kwasababu if not you out there lie. there is so much <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. But at the end of the day, when something happens to you, you will need your family to be there. Yeah. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. it's better when you have someone in your family that you know when something happened, I'll be able to go for them. Mm -hmm. Rather yeah. than be scared. If something happens, where else would you go? That's why I think it's important when also mothers and fathers, you know, teach their kids so that they'll have that trust mm -hmm. in their kids. Because mm -hmm. it's rather uh, your kid have trust in you than having a stranger mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. have trust in them. I think yeah. also this is the thing that in Afanya Bado, what wana kuwa na maugonjwa, tofauti, like you sometimes you have, uh, you are overthinking so much, you know, na pata, when I read today, kuna article ni lisoma asubu ni kona, kuna mtu juwa kufikiria tu, akili yake kanza, ku go out of order. Unona. Because but depression, this time you are thinking so much, like ni, yeah. um, I'm pregnant now, so mm. what's next? Mzazi wangu tawambia nini, where will I go? That's what I'm saying, also, also depression. It should be, uh, uh, kids should understand uh, depression at a very younger age, mm -hmm. because... Um, People don't understand the different types of depression. Mm -hmm. People don't even know when they have. Yeah, there are people who, when hey. they lose uh, their mothers, when they lose their father, they fall into depression. Mm -hmm. There are people, yeah. their mind is so weak to a point, even something very small can trigger them mm -hmm. to fall into depression. Yeah. You might find someone has everything and they still fall into depression. Mm -hmm. yeah. You get. Mm -hmm. So, m your story, yeah, also Facebook, like uh, in, uh, social media, like mm -hmm. we should also have like advocates that. They help people mm -hmm. who like are bullied or mm -hmm. you know or that there's a lot yeah. as in I don't even know where to start. Mm -hmm. um, even the know. person like who gives birth today, that people don't know like someone can get into depression just by giving birth, mm -hmm. you know. And you find a mother kill end up killing their daughter or killing the neighbors, whatever. But they don't understand it's sort of mind mm -hmm. yeah someone is uh, and it starts it starts from your 
thinking yeah how how you see things and then it's easy mm. to how, see how it to it's s- easy to see it for your life. friend it's mm-hmm. easy to see it for yeah. for instance i know you for so long mm-hmm. and then you start losing interest for like we used to go out you start mm-hmm. losing interest of going out mm-hmm. then you start locking yourself in the house then a few yeah. minutes later you don't want to move in your bed you're being called you lose it. yeah you're just losing <laughs> interest in anything that you're doing definitely you know this person there's something wrong mm-hmm. you know so i think also people should look at each other and support each other yeah, yeah. begin at your partner begin at your friend mm-hmm. like i've lost a lot of people with depression because mm-hmm. they just thought it's nothing because african also african people they don't believe on depression Actually, i've yeah. had That's a lot of arguments is, you know i've had yeah. a recent i was uh, december was in tanzania a friend of mine's cousin mm-hmm. i was telling him about depression he was like me na into our to ni wako week me says it for to a job then upate tu nimekaa tu eti niko na depression wake up and go find a job i'm like not everybody is like you yeah, you know yeah, every yeah. people what are very different so yes. much so much uh, mr pap and, and you don't know so yeah. what someone has lost to kwa na na best yako ako na depression like you know anashindwa kuongea ama ushe kuwa na best yako maybe day maybe akapata ball you know Then yeah i have a couple of friends uh, guys who actually uh, have actually even given birth they're still taking care of kids uh-huh. and but more, more so like for them mm-hmm. it happened and like i had a friend who she was really good like mm-hmm. she went talk to her mom nini nini mm-hmm. and the mom is open but you see th- for that to happen you have to have been talking to your mom way back so that even your mom when she's receiving this she's mad but she's still mm-hmm. she's able to receive it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. depression like for some other people like my friend like he got a girl pregnant mm-hmm. so like alikuwa ananipigia tiro i need money so to do what nini and then i was like he should i said you money nini but then i was like what's what's going on what's going on nini but he really wouldn't want me to say like he didn't really want to tell me so mm-hmm. and then he was like offline for a long time nini nini so i was like hey this guy is something like they just went wrong mm-hmm. you know so i had to talk to him he said he had been going through like that whole thing it didn't work out the child like ali libida mezaliwa so now he has a whole new perspective to his life mm-hmm. and he's still a student so you know he has to think about mm-hmm. what's this baby going to do mm-hmm. what's what's this baby mom going to do what am i going to have like for my future now that this has happened you know mm-hmm. and i think such thoughts they usually come and then they derail because utapata sata jo history and atanza kwa ule husband let's say wakulewa anakuja na angalia so unajua atanza kulewa kwa sababu atapata afikia kwa ile akili anga kusema aje sasa mimi nimeka mtu wenyewe mimba nitaenda side gani sijui nini exactly see what happened to men concept what they call contraceptive Ah uh, wasi wakifunzwa <laughs> wanafunzwa ku abstain ama wanafunzwa nini what what do you think should be taught mainly about sex Acha kidogo tu tunarudi kuongelea hiyo story for now we need to breathe as our viewers sent your views on our SMS line at 2114 and also on our Facebook pages GBS TV Kenya yes, you can also continue Mm, this conversation on my Instagram page at Ntinyari underscore Eva. And also you can send me your views on my Facebook page as Isaac Tabitha. Yep. So, so we are now, going to take a short break and when you come back we're going to conclude. And this is G Radio. Hello guys and welcome. This is G Radio number one TV show and we are coming live at GBS TV and I'm your host Isaac Tabitha. I'm the co-host Evan Tinyari and as usual we have our DJ DJ Deko. You can also send your views on my Instagram page and Tinyari underscore Eva. And also you can get me on our Facebook page as Isaac Tabitha. Thank you so much guys. Keep it here. Kwa mara ya kwanza running ya GBS TV inakuletea Echo Mziki. Ni show itakayokuwa inatambulisha vipaji vya DJ wasanii wenye uwezo mkubwa na madansa za unikunyangua. Ivana Nam at Trubo Nyakoko pamoja na mkali wao DJ Vokes. Siku ya Juma ni ya saa 12 hadi saa 1 jioni. Na Juma Mosi ni ya saa 9 hadi saa 10 ya mchana. Na Juma pili ni ya saa 9 kwenye Echo Mziki Live Audience. Echo Mziki hapa mziki tu. Yo guys and welcome back this is G Radio and now we are continuing the topic hiyo wimbo imepita hapo ni Mr. Pub Mr. Pub mm-hmm. when did you start singing as in normally uka feel like, wacha nianze kuimba uh, when i was in high school like, form 4 mm-hmm. like the first time 
our, the songs that are listened to in hip hop ni nini ni mm-hmm. i usually find myself replacing some of the lines that those are, those guys have written on their songs mm-hmm. so ikafka point i was like but they wanted to just try write a whole verse for this this song race remember no flex zone mm-hmm. so i started with that no i wrote so y- y- yeah no yeah. flex <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. so in class i was reading <laughs> then i wrote like the whole song uh-huh then i was like i really feel this is good and i was like rapping to my friend i can do your time because i shake it up so need to spend time yo yeah so nah, I was like how do you feel this nini nini <laughs> so yeah, he told me but this is dope nini you should really like mm-hmm. look for a studio and do this i was like for real i, I didn't take it seriously much yeah? so one day like i just decided let me freestyle over my phone mm-hmm. then I, i sent it to my friend and he was like ah oh, my uncle like owns a studio nini nini So it's like probably you can go he sees like if you can record mm-hmm. a track nini and I was like mm-hmm. ah, okay so this thing is going to happen yeah I'm going to mm-hmm. pay of course I had to pay because I was upcoming so I went did a song mm-hmm. then I, it, it's called it used to be called um, used to mm-hmm. so like it is called used to it's still around mm-hmm. it's called used to and everyone like got like uh, took a liking to the song mm-hmm. so even at the end of four I ended up performing with some of the other people who were already like artists nini mm-hmm. and i felt like to that at that point i felt like damn i can really do this mm-hmm. yes yeah, so after i fully finished that i um i met someone at a show mm-hmm. he's called um weasel he's um he why he owns his own uh, brand in nini called the Lou trap so he was he saw my talent he was like bro baby you really have something why don't you come over to the, stu- the studio and then i'll be charging you like nothing because mm-hmm. they really see your hard working in in so once i had that like i was like ah nice so i even started saying i don't want only to rap so i decided ah let me also do some production so i started making beats slowly slowly but at that time i was also focusing on kcc mm-hmm. so I, so this guy he told me like you just stop recording for now you go back to high school finish from four finish well mm-hmm. when you come back you're gonna move on will be said yeah he was the first person to call me like mm-hmm. after I finish like I just stand on my phone like this I texted him he was quick to call like now you ready mm-hmm. so yeah since then it's been so he supported you what are what are people supporting you uh in my parents my mom cuz sometimes I'd wake up eight, go to the studio come back late and then you know I had to tell her like where where I'm, I'm actually going you know my talk of happy size yeah you know yeah it's eight. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah um and then there's also um then I eventually got like enough um saving up with my friends mm-hmm. so we decided we we got like some equipment so like my home base called CKO he's placed his studio in high rise mm-hmm. so like every we usually go there to record most of the time mm-hmm. so there there's really the mic there's the speakers and everything mm-hmm. so yeah those are the people actually who have mm-hmm. come through for me there's my nigga but he's in South Africa right now he's the one who actually he started the music game earlier so when he came back to Kenya he was like ah oh, bro I've, I've been seeing you're doing songs in Nini we should work so he also gave me that extra push in Nini because these are people who had done mm-hmm. much more than me you know mm-hmm. yeah hey. 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 I should Africa international <laughs> <laughs> hey. anyway your music it could dope uh, thanks mm-hmm. man yeah that song chocolate um the that's Choc- the song I've just, I dropped it actually today ni akukula ile chocolate ama ni achai na 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 waacha tuulize ni vizuri kuuliza inaweza kuwa hii chocolate ni akukula tu waacha kama tumekaa hapo it's it's a song i'm telling um mm-hmm. just addressing like a story like for in this house like right now i'm more focused on the music and everything so mm-hmm. i have no chocolate for you right now for valentines or not all only thing i have is this bars these lines that i'm hoping at least you can enjoy emma emma wouldn't take this emma it's what emma i have no chocolate man yes emma maske ya ametoa chocolate but mm, as we were talking today earlier yeah uh-huh. you told the, you told me you were once a musician I still write uh-huh. and do music like by myself in mm-hmm. the house. Mm-hmm. But mostly writing. Mm-hmm. Yes. What kind of music? Hip hop. Uh when coming okay. to writing uh definitely anything. Mm-hmm. Uh but music, so I used to sing. So if I, I can write right anything. Now. I'm not sure about anything at the bit. I can write anything that's mm-hmm. for sure. <laughs> do you have any that you remember maybe to pick a bit up? Kama mimi bongo. Ngoja, kwa nini unaweza fanya rumba? Umesema anything. So what can you exactly do? <laughs> maybe uh ile Tausi ndege wangu. Ndege wangu afari. I used to listen to that but I was just for like yeah. maybe that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's really nice with the congrats Jimbo no liacha kuimba
um, I'll go back when I'm less busy. Yeah, so less busy. Right now, Most yeah. of my friends are rappers, actually. Mm-hmm. And I have a... Do you guys know Jovio? Mm-hmm, mm, yeah, yeah. I went to school with her. Mm. We used For to sing. I, I, w- I, I'm a, I was raised in a Muslim way, so she used to s- teach me uh, Christian music. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so we used to sing together in assembly and stuff. Wow, nice, yeah. nice. nice. So guys, to <laughs> tukajibamba sasa. I wanted us, you know, that to as we conclude about the topic, you know, mm-hmm. the sex <coughs> education. Most likely, ningetaka tu tuangalia po sana sana. Mm-hmm. what to adogo wana engage because many young girls, I believe, many young girls, mm-hmm. but many young girls they think sex is a way of having fun. No, no. And they go from this, from that, from him, from them, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't know from, maybe you can give them some advice. For me, I don't, I, I don't agree with that. So you maybe yes, we don't month. agree. Myself also, I don't agree to start sex at mm-hmm. a younger age. But at the end of the day, it's still there. So mm-hmm. all that advice is uh, educate yourself more mm-hmm. and learn uh, about safe sex. So that if, when you you like it, you're having it, yes, but you're having it in a safer way to protect mm-hmm. yourself. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's what I'd advise. Because at the end of, if, if you tell them to abstain, they'll not abstain at the end of the day. Really? So it's better you advise them how to do it safely. Mm-hmm. 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 Deko, what do you think? But is, is sex a way of having fun? I'm <coughs> to okay. to you, mm. what role do parents have to play? Kwa Mm-hmm. Not only parents, because they are sex workers also. So, mm-hmm. sex ni part kubwa sana ya e topic. Kwa sababu kuna wasi wana itake ka work, mm-hmm. kuna wasi wana itake ka fun, kuna homosexuals, mm-hmm. lesbians. Mm-hmm. So, sex ni kitu ingine sijine well, zeye kade. Mm-hmm. So, mi venye neza advice. Mm-hmm. It take you both in general, not only to the girls, mm-hmm. but also to the boys pia. Mm-hmm. Kwa youths wote, mapero wote. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu, kuna, kuna ule mse atenda have sex, juhana do. Mm-hmm. Kuna mse ata have sex, mm-hmm. kwa sababu ya drugs, as in, hayuko li normal state yake. Mm-hmm. Na kuna ule tu mse anafanya, as in, haifanya tu, Anataka kujaribu na curiosity memfika <laughs> pale kwenye kwa no naezi, mm-hmm. lazima ikuwe. Mm-hmm. So, what are sex addicts? Are it, like for fun, you know many people they na. are saying, let's go have some fun, you know na? Yeah. Ukienda ucheki, that fun ni ile wanaenda just to have sex, nothing else, you know. So, I don't know maybe from you, Deko, uh-huh. what, what would you like to tell them? I would advise them to stop mm-hmm. because... Sex, kitu ya kwanza, mm-hmm. people, watu wanazaliwa juu ya sex. Mm-hmm. As in, so sex si ati ni kitu tu hivi hivi. Mm-hmm. That's not fun. That's not fun. Wanafab. God created it for procreation. Mm-hmm. Nona. Mm-hmm. So I don't think it's fun to me. Kwa hivyo kia mbiwa sa hizi abstain, utabstain until marriage. Ni, ni kia mbiwa ni abstain sa hivyo. As in, are you abstaining until marriage? Already ni abstain. Already, already ni me abstain. Kwa sababu, I'm even single. Oh, kaika moment. Uko single? Being single doesn't mean. It doesn't mean. Being single doesn't mean you abstain. This is freedom. Abstaining is not completely abstain. Kwa mbiwa na ukazia sa hivyo. So, you're creating in a relationship with two and or more. No, no. There's people who encourage abstinence na kuna wenye wana wana indulge as in wana encourage wase sex ni poa fanye ni sex kuna ule mse as in kuna wase ni sex addicts just like kuna drug addicts kuna mse hezi kabila sex so Ni had sana kwa advice msea nataka kufanya sex mm-hmm. for fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. So Pap. unamuacha tu wa ajibambi? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unona, okay, kulinga na like, all of you have said something, mm-hmm. but kuna ile kitu wa mjasema. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sex, mm-hmm. sex haifaye ya abstainiwe as in tu na kuambiwa, mm-hmm. inafa actions. Mm-hmm. As in, kuna msi aja have sex tangu wakue mtoto, mm-hmm. mbaka sayo mefika 20. Mm-hmm. So hizo miaka zote ya meabstain. Mm-hmm. Mbona sasa venya me, amejua, mm-hmm. ashindwe kwa abstain. 
it's like when you test something for the first time unless you come to know the problem and you tapata when you continue with it you can never stop no mm-hmm. like yeah. when you eat sugar first time ni tamu ndio but when you come to see that what one apata ugonjwa wa sukari ndio you yeah. sukari inafanya unaendesha manina nini na kwa hivyo unaona yeah. for some time because Skari of that you stop eh? sukari kuna watu bado hivyo hivyo wanatumia mhm usha kuna mtu anaambia usikunywe pombe kwa sababu inakuaribu na bado anakunywa ni kama sigara still sigara hata wameandikiwa imeandikwa hapo utapoteza uzazi lakini ndio mtu amechorewa people even know it's from the you know but it's because of the the deepness of how because mnaweza pata labda anatumia hiyo ku follow out because of some problem mm-hmm. problem let's say anapata minor stress yeah kuna hiyo mentality pia unasahau kila kitu best feeling is what mm-hmm. so who is acha nikuuliza kwa mtu mwenye anashindwa ku approach pero yake kuhusu such a sensitive topic unaweza unaweza approach nani first dad or mom okay depends uh, on your gender <laughs> <laughs> really i will i will i will uh, advise uh, <laughs> not as we like we see we still have social media mm-hmm. so it depends what you, you you're looking for you can get anything on social media you mm-hmm. can google about safe sex you get it you can google about uh, people are talking about mental health you can get educate yourself if you, ha- you don't have any means mm-hmm. so you know? it's no longer important to bring out if you you don't want to talk to your parent which i believe it's important yes but mm-hmm. if you already grown like to come and me i'm already grown mm-hmm. up mm-hmm. yeah and i want want to have a safe sex mm-hmm. first of all safe sex is not about kids only safe sex is about everybody mm-hmm. like if you educate yourself more about having safe sex mm-hmm. then you're gonna protect yourself to from, to a, lot from a lot of things that are gonna come later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So by the end of the day, education is it's the key, key, you know. That's so if you you just don't know anything and you're just there, oh, I learn sex when I have a boyfriend or I only talk that's about it with my boyfriend. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's where you find what the pregnant. Sik is sik to ko feature kwa sababu at the end of the day when you look at it it's parade everywhere. Mm-hmm. When you look at TV it's parade everywhere. Mm-hmm. Social media parade mm-hmm. everywhere. Mm-hmm. You know. So I don't think saizi nafa ku feature. Saizi watu wao nafa kujua vitu kama hizi ndio wajue how to protect themselves. Deko, wacha tukianzia na kwa sababu unaona muda wetu pia umeisha. Maybe unaweza to pair parting shot about today's topic and how we, we can make them to maybe tunaweza maliza hii ni kama ugonjwa ambao imetokea mm-hmm. about sex education and how also parents they can be able to talk to their own children i think parents should be should be talking to their children at the moment umeona ameanza ku kumachua as in unaona kuna ile kuna ile points inafikanga mtu yeye anafika like 15 16 mm-hmm. mimi naweza kuelewa msema chua kwa sababu brain yake mali inaelekea mm-hmm. ni sasa ako out of school ako out of nini mm-hmm. so anakam kwa hiyo world nyingine mm-hmm. yenye na involve a lot of shit like kuna hiyo sex kuna drugs nini mm-hmm. so pero anafaa anaongelesha mtu hii mm-hmm. kulingana na venye homeambi exactly what this is mm-hmm. una try to protect mm-hmm. how far you pay information aende a uh, nini i explore no na mama alisema hiyo information <laughs> um keep aware uh, wow. thank you so much mr park mm-hmm. just in just few few maybe one minute mm-hmm. as a to pay parting shot yako in terms of the, the topic yeah mm-hmm. um for me i think it's important like parents to just before people get this information like from the internet nini mm-hmm. this concept should should have already been born in their mind mm-hmm. through the parents so that even if this guy is going to like the internet or to, la- to learn about sex education or not and has already like mama linya mm-hmm. baby so i'm just searching guidelines and you know search through the already safe guide because you'll be you'll be checking out effects of um, of bad like any unprotected mm-hmm. sex and then you get to learn you know and then by the time sasa unaanza kufanya hiyo to like by yourself you already know the do's and don'ts mm-hmm. so mostly also it's up to the person you can also be learned you can be told all this but it's also down to the person what does their character state what, what do they want mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. thank you so much 
Emma. Madam Professor. <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> For me, I'm going back. I'm just a kunje mgani mbich. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Ha, najua kiswaili kuwa kwa simutatizo. Mini wa Mombasa. Ni kama vile, sisi Kenya, si tunafundishwa kusoma, tunafundishwa kutengeza pesa, ama kujikimu ke maisha. It's the same way of sex that's how i take it if you, you you don't know about it then later on you either gonna regret it or you're just gonna have sex in the wrong way mm-hmm. not the way your body should accept it i really wish people could abstain mm-hmm. and wait for marriage but mm-hmm. uh, at this generation it's impossible mm-hmm. so it should start from the house because at the end of the day mm-hmm. As in, she's more older than your daughter, or maybe, or the same age. Na najua mokshinda mtoto aku, and maybe they are friends. Mm-hmm. You get definitely set am fundi she watabia. But if she knows, she'll be able to also educate her friends about it, or be safe mm-hmm. if they don't want to be educated. Mm-hmm. So she should start at home definitely. Thank you so much. Na apundi po tumefikia kikomo. Chetu. Atondo tunakunjia uyu samaki. Uyu angali mbichi wacha tumkunjia. Angali mbichi. Angali wakiwa mbichi uyu. Wacha tumkunjia saizi. Anyway guys, back at home, thank you so much for watching our show. It has been the best for us. Nimejifunza kitumpia pangu mi mwenyewe binafsi. Nimesoma jambo jipi ya kwa mbuni. Licha ya. Licha? Licha ama nirija. And I've been your host, Isaac Tabitha. I hope back at home that you have enjoyed and also the parents back at home, you have learned how to speak to your own children and also the children to be able to speak to your own parents. I'll say live each day at a time. Don't be anxious over anything. Ishi tuna life vile na kupeleka. Cheza na rada. Wacha kukua anxious. That's where we go wrong. That's where we get depression and disappointments but if if you learn to maybe enjoy and be grateful for what you have for at the moment maisha itakuwa poa ni evantinyari till next time